again, how much time I spent with my grandparents, we would go shopping on Belmont Avenue. Belmont Avenue was like a street shopping. They were push carts, and there was a live chicken market, and I would go with my bubby on Thursday, she'd buy a live chicken. And of course, it was alive, and she'd feel it to make sure it had enough chicken fat. She wanted to make, she rendered chicken fat. So she would pick out a nice yellow plump one, and the shochet was right on the premises. He would kill the chicken according to his, you know, according to the Jewish religion. And uh, then for five cents more, you could have it plucked. You could have the feathers taken off. She, to save the five cents, she would pluck it herself. And then we would go home, and <laughs> she would cook the chicken. But if once she, I never forget, because Belmont Avenue, besides all the push carts on the street, and you had a bargain. If you didn't bargain, it wasn't Jewish. You know what bargaining is. You never, you never give them the first price that they offer, because it's too much. So we would go to a little shop. She was buying me a special dress for a special occasion. It was a big deal to buy a new dress. We go into the store, and the first thing she says to me before we go in, Zognish as the Gleichstas. Don't, if you like, see a dress you like, don't say you like it. Because then the price looked. See, no, 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 no dresses had prices on them. You would say, so I would try on the dress and I'd give her a look. I like, you know, I like it, Bobby. You mustn't say it. So she'd say to the owner of the store, Vittel willst du die Schmatte? How much do you want for this Schmatte? <laughs> you know, Schmatte piece of jun junky dress. <laughs> so immediately the price would go down. So he'd say three dollars. She'd say, oh, let's go. We'd walk again. I'd be ready to cry. But it was an act. The whole thing was a play. And we'd, he'd say, wait a minute, lady, two dollars. So Phil, so Phil, Anita, let, Anna, let's go. <laughs> so she got the price she came in with. But you could never, I mean, the whole thing was like a, 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 a game. You never give them the first price and you don't say you like it. Because then you're in trouble. So I love that little story and I reminded myself of it, how I learned how to go shopping. Until they put prices on clothes, I thought, you have to, you know, that's how you shop. You don't say you like it and you don't give them the first price that they, that they offer. Now it's not a problem, right?